What are you guys doing? You gotta listen to this. You are loud. Hey, what's up, Marfer audience? My name is Knight, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to another episode on the Mark 42 project. So I'm just gonna get straight to the point here. As you can tell, I did some mining offline. So in comparison to the last time, I did get some progress done. As you can tell, there's a bunch of pegs and loops and all that and whatnot, and uh, all for a purpose. So here, what you see in front of you is potentially 100% of the inner brace for the torso. And when I say potentially, I'm meaning that I'm pretty sure I'm done. As in, I don't really see any new additions that need to be made for this portion at the moment. It, you're chewing on my wires, man. You were asleep just a moment ago. <laughs> so yeah, at the moment, I'm pretty sure this is all I'm basically gonna need for the, for the suit to work, at least the torso. So if I find out that I'm gonna need some new additions for whatever reason, I'm gonna be very sad because uh, I'll have to reprint it. But for now, I'm fairly confident this is all I need. So what you see here is, as you remember from the previous video, this is the inner brace that's gonna be holding onto me. And these two pegs are what hold onto the neck piece. And so now I'm gonna introduce the new additions. So this insert and this insert right here are we're gonna be holding onto the back, as you can tell from this contact and this contact. And these two inserts are we're gonna be holding onto this inner back detail because I'm planning on having the back flaps open up. And so I don't wanna show my bare back inside the flaps so i'm just gonna have this covering my back and that extra little detail is gonna show some pizzazz for the suit and if you can tell this doesn't have an extra insert just like these other ones where the magnet is supposed to go these are going to be glued permanently and finally we have these six loops that are going to be holding on to this uh like armpit detail or something like that and i wasn't able to keep the full circle because if i made it too small where it could fit in the suit uh my arm wouldn't fit through and uh if i had the full circle at this size it wouldn't fit in the suit so I just had to cut it down here for the extra detail from the top view. And there are some areas where you can see that. That's just going to be for another extra pizzazz. And these are going to be held on by the nylon straps. I did measure them to fit the nylon straps. I hope my calculations are right because uh, I don't trust myself to be honest. So yeah, there was nothing much uh, I had to do here. This was basically several pieces. All I did was increase their thickness so that they would all collide. So that Kira would read this as like a single object. So yeah, nothing too fancy here. However, here, this mother Bruh. was a pain in the ass. I'm telling you, do you have any idea how many pieces are in this piece? Do you? So yeah, this, 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 I think this is two pieces, four potentially. Those are all separate pieces. And also I had to add in these two pegs so that it can insert. And let me tell you, these weren't even this thick. They were paper thin. So yeah, basically increasing the thickness while not losing the detail was kind of a pain in the butt. And to be honest, they're still not really that thick. Uh, I'm having my doubts whether this is going to hold up well, especially when I'm pulling off the supports. But uh, I'm tired, so I'm just going to go with it. And then I also had to position and stretch this object from here and here into this object so that all of this can be read as one object because I really don't want to like spend my time gluing these together and uh, they're not even that compatible. So I just want this whole piece ready made. So I'm really hoping this piece comes out beautifully because uh, I don't want to rework on this thing. And let me tell you, I'm definitely not going to sand this thing. I'm going to use the uh, acetone or whatever it is because I am not sanding this. Look at this. Look at this. You think my fat finger can fit in there? Look at that. So, so yeah, I'm not going to be sanding this thing. Uh, I do want it smooth though, so I'm going to be using acetone or something like that. I'm pretty sure there's like a plastic smoothing uh, solution out there. Uh, I've seen it before, so I'm going to be using that, but that's on a later date. So yeah, for now, uh, hopefully this fits me, and uh, let's get to printing.
Alrighty, so here we have the finished product. And if I get just get this in the frame here, it's looking pretty good so far. Now, if you're wondering why the neck piece is attached, it's because I I already went ahead and attached the uh, the magnets, and uh, it's it's nothing too complicated. I just glued them on. Now, if you're also wondering why the armpit rings are missing, it's basically because I still have them printing right now. They're almost done, so I'll, I'll cover them later. So, moving on. First issue I noticed with this thing is that uh, it's not a, uh, it's not very well fit to my shoulders, and that basically just causes the the whole thing to kind of rock back and not stay in the position that I wanted to. And the that basically happens when they don't have a 3D model or every single proportional measurement of myself. So, yeah. And so what's basically causing that is uh, it's very rounded shape. If you notice from like the uh, profile view, the shoulders are actually more triangular shaped in a way. I'm pretty sure. So that doesn't really combine well with a circular shape. So, and so because of that, there's going to be some empty spaces because the shoulders are going to be like that and like that. So there's an empty space here and an empty space here. So my solution for that is I'm going to be filling the uh, empty spaces with some nylon and possibly some foam. So that should sort of fix the, uh, the tipping issue. And that should provide more support over on the front side so it doesn't like lean over to the back because it has more support in the front. So I got some nylon here and some blue parents tape. And then if you see here, I sort of, uh, see if I can get this in frame, yep. I sort of went ahead and marked in all of the contact points that I, I'm pretty sure there are. Let me just take this off. I marked all the contact points that, points that I'm pretty sure are touching my body. And you're gonna see that some of these are sort of off center because that's, you know, the, the body has its own natural form. So I, all these contact points are gonna be laying down the, uh, the nylon. Uh, you, you'll see in what way I'll do it, but it's only gonna be in those contact points like so, and I'll kind of stretch it out like that. And it should have like this little space right here where I can like, uh, where I'll provide some sort of support. And if possible, I'll probably just uh, add in some foam layer just to add in more support. So what I'm gonna do first is put this at this first contact point like so, and I'm just gonna tape it down. It doesn't have to be that good of tape down. Uh, it just needs to hold it down for now. Cause believe it or not, we're probably gonna screw this in. So yep, there's that. And then we're gonna sort of stretch this out like that as much as possible. Put some tension on it right there, tape it down. And just like that. Then we're gonna do the same thing right here, tape this down, and there you go. That should be the, uh, the sort of strapping system. Perhaps, maybe they'll work, maybe not. We'll, we'll see about that. So we're gonna grab a drill, uh, some fairly small screws, and uh, we'll screw these in at those points. And uh, if there's not enough stability, then we'll add in some foam. Alrighty, so here we have the uh, the finished product. So yeah, as you can tell, I basically fit in another montage of me uh, attaching these things, and it's nothing too complicated. I basically just took the nylon strap, cut it to length, and I sort of looped it and glued it together. So it's nothing too complicated. But yeah, so other than that, this thing is uh it's basically done for now, I guess. It fits pretty well. So yeah, so this is basically the uh, the chest brace in its entirety, and. Uh, for now, this should be done. Hopefully I don't have to add some stuff into it, but I kind of feel like there might be some stuff that I might need to add. So uh, I'll have to prepare for that. But yeah, this thing, uh, it fits quite nicely. So yeah, I'm basically gonna apologize for uh, not being that active this month and uh, <laughs> taking my sweet ass time with this upload. But I had the other stuff I need to take care of. So uh, yeah, so it kind of got in the way with the video, but I got upload in the end. So uh, all's good, right? So yeah, so basically that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Do whatever you need to do. In the next video, hopefully I'm going to either start covering the uh, the rest of the helmet electronics, or I'm going to go ahead and con uh, and basically fill this in, basically complete the whole torso portion, basically the, the chest and the back, and maybe implement the, the back flaps. So hopefully either one of these two is what I'm going to work on in the next video. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, so that's going to be it for this video, and I'm going to dip.